Technology. Sending a message with email. You can send a message to exchange ideas, to request information, to remind someone of a meeting, all sorts of things that you may need to do as an athlete leader. Here are a few things that will make communicating by email easier for you and whoever receives your email. Make sure every message you send is clear. Make sure that you're saying what you mean to say. Try to keep your messages as short as possible. You want to get to the point right away. Make sure your spelling and grammar are correct. Always use upper and lowercase letters when typing messages. Using black type and easy to read font or type style makes it easier for whoever receives your message. Pick out a subject line for the message that will let the reader know what the email is about. People read the subject line before they read your email. Some examples of subject lines are new meet time, soccer practice, applying for speaker training, and Alps University. You do not have to be at your computer to receive a message. It will save it for you in your inbox. When you open your email, you will see an inbox, which is like your mailbox at home. Until you read a message, its header is displayed in bold type. The line will tell you who it's from, the subject, and when it came to your inbox. Be careful about opening an attachment. Never open an attachment unless you know it came from a safe place. Special Olympics, a trusted friend, etc. Reply as soon as you can. The sender is expecting a response. To reply to a message, click the reply button. To respond to the sender of the message and to all recipients of the message, click the reply to all button. When you hit reply, the to and subject edit boxes are already filled in. If you receive a message that you think might be of interest to someone else, like another member of your team, you can easily forward the message. With the message still displayed, click the forward button. You can add a personal message like thought you should know this or if this applies to you, then hit send. You can send files by email such as a Word document, picture, or PDF. Click Attach File or the paperclip icon and a box will open. Choose the file you wish to send. To delete a message, simply select it and click on the delete box. It will be moved to your trash bin. Most of your email should probably be archived so you can refer to it later. After you are done reading a message, select it and click on the archive box. It will be removed from your inbox and be in your all mail box. After you've received lots of mail, you may find that you want to store your email by project, such as swimming, volunteer, or basketball. To do that, you can create labels like these so you can categorize them and keep them organized. Thank you for listening!